Well, unfortunately, the brilliant, I, I must say brilliant redneck science that I used to determine where the water leak was on this fitting, I lost the footage. Uh, I determined that the, f I think it's, yeah, it's right about here or here. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's right here, right near this crimp. Shoot, I don't remember. I think it's right there. There's like a tiny little mark that started this whole leak. So it was brilliant. I used the air compressor, set it up, used soapy water. It's just unfortunate. Let's keep going. So I have determined that I do have a second leak somewhere in around this ball valve. So I'm going to remove this section uh, and take it back to the shop and just rebuild this whole section up to the water meter. But I can't just unthread it here because this is too bulky. So I have to cut it here. Now I thought about just cutting it here and trying to save this fitting here. But I can't tell if there's a small water leak from here or if it's residual from up higher. So in the interest of saving myself an immense amount of time, of course it's too long. Uh, I'm just going to replace the whole thing so I don't have to come back. There you go. Yeah, it looks like we have another leak right here on one of the crimp core spots. That's what I'm going to guess anyways. Oh, yeah, there we go. Doesn't look like we have any obvious leaks on here. But I don't want to risk it because if I'm going through the effort to fixing this, I might as well just rebuild the whole thing and be done with it. So for the new piping, I'm going to lay it out and then figure out the spacing between all the fittings and start cutting pipe and laying it together. So hopefully I can just solder in one quick fluid motion basically we'll see we may just solder everything in place that might be the safest thing so then i know everything's lined up and in good in a good spot so we have this first section pretty much done i think i've got it pretty close i'm not going to solder anything until i am up in the mechanical room so i know everything is positioned properly and i don't have to redo everything. So unfortunately, the connections that I grabbed are not the right ones to match what I already have. So I'm going to need to run to Supply House again and hopefully get this in a solder fitting. Okay. I am back from the Supply House and I have to rebuild this half of the uh, water filter inlet. Uh, I don't have to do the outlet because I can still reuse this fitting. I also picked up a second, or a, a new ball valve because I bought the yellow handled one and uh, that's not lead free. That's more for uh, gas fittings. Now that that's replaced, <laughs> swapped out. Uh, we are gonna head up to the bunkhouse. <laughs> on that I quit maybe maybe not quit but I will give up for the day
close to getting this wrapped up. I just need to reattach the filter to the bracket, get this kind of lined up, attach it back to the wall, and then I can finish building this section up. I think the last time I soldered anything was a year and a half ago. It's just not something that I do very often. I, fortunately, it's not something I have to do very often. Um, and a lot of the plumbing fixes, if it's in an area that I can't really reach, uh, it's a shark bite fitting and call it a day. But this is not a shark bite situation. is fitted up and roughly in place and it looks halfway decent um, I mean my first solder doesn't look great but you know the one since then and uh, just just don't don't look at that so we will start soldering everything together I guess Should have let this whole thing cool down a lot more before I started soldering up further because the rest of the pipe was not cooled down. So I melted the the top for the water filter. So uh, or I melted the threads. So I'm gonna have to go grab one of those. But other than that, everything is soldered. Um, and then when I have this, I can throw this in and then turn the water on and make sure I don't have any other leaks. Uh, because I have tomorrow to get this done and, and I have people in tomorrow night. So I am back from the supply house. They had a uh, whole new filter set up in stock in the right size. So I'm going to get this put back together, put in and turn the water on tonight. So if I have any leaks, I can fix them in the morning or maybe fix them tonight. I'm just going to throw blue monster on the threads i'm not going to put thread tape on it i don't care if i got to take it apart and reseal it in a year that's fine i don't care right now i just need to get this up and running i've had other fixtures that have had blue monster on the thread tape through for, instead of thread tape and i've had zero leaks so i'm not too worried about it Especially right now. I should have known that I would have melted the housing, but I was in just too much of a rush and too focused on trying to get it done that I didn't even stop to think that this is going to be a problem. But that's life, I guess. Sometimes you just need to slow down a little bit, take a deep breath.
So I'm gonna go turn the water on and we are gonna cross our fingers and hope nothing is leaking. It's just the water filter. Okay. Got most of the air out of the line. It looks like we just have the uh, gasket on the filter didn't seat, right? Or at least all the way. So we'll pull this out real quick and uh, turn the water off. Turn this off. Bleed the pressure off. Now that that's all it was is just air. Well, the good news is I don't see any leaks coming from any of these fittings. All right, we're gonna give it an hour or so, uh, crank the heat in here, dry this out, and uh, come back and check it, make sure it's not uh, leaking. Well, everything looks pretty good. I don't see any leaks, so we can uh, put this one in the books. Is a uh, job good enough done? <laughs> job well done. Uh, not an expert at soldering, but I can uh, get the job done when I need to. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.